Development of the Malay Deficient Port commenced today under the Uttaradivra Navodaya program. The event was graced by President Maitripala Sirisena. Under the Uttaradivra Navodaya program, the new government has drawn up plans to construct four fishing harbours, three strategically important ports and 20 ports. The first step of this program was the reconstruction of the Mailadi fishing port. This reconstruction is done at a cost of 400 million rupees under a project carried out in order to improve the entire fishing industry in the country. We have all experienced the bitter memories of war. All parties were affected by it. Therefore, our main aim and objective as the people of this country would be to ensure that terrorism does not raise its head again. We admit the pace of development is slow. No other president other than me has come to the north as much as I have. I come here every three to four months to look into your problems and offer expeditious solutions. Out of the lands which were used by the tri forces during the course of the war, we have released 88% of them since 2009. There is another 12% left to release and these lands should be given to the people. That is our stance. Not only in the north, if there is even an inch of land wherever in the country, it should be given to the rightful owners. I was told that there are several schools including the Maila Di Mahavidyalaya which have not been released to the people as yet. So I inquired into the matter right away and questioned the army commander about it. We ensure you, these schools will be released to the public within the next two weeks. The president also commented on the challenge faced by the country in combating drugs and alcohol. There are certain issues that are not limited to the north. For example, drugs and alcohol. You all know we have implemented the death penalty on those who have been convicted for drug smuggling and racketeering. We will not pardon anyone who is caught while in possession of narcotics, regardless of whether it is marijuana, hashish or heroin. They will be given the harshest punishment, which is the death penalty. Among those who have been served the death penalty are five Pakistani nationals. There are quite a few women as well. I spoke to the new Pakistani government about deporting those five Pakistanis. We will carry out the law in the strictest possible manner. A token of appreciation was presented to the president by the fishing community in the area. Later, the president held talks with area residents.